Hi guys, so today I want to show you guys and talk about our new Yeedy. This is the Yeedy Vac 2 Pro, which is a smart oscillating mop and vacuum. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this thing so much. As you guys know, we did love our original Yeedy, which was just the vacuum, but this one vacuums and mops, and it is like amazing, you guys, such a time saver. Um, you can just like vacuum and mop your whole house all together, all at once. You just let it go and it just does its thing. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works and I'll show you guys all the parts. So this is the actual robot vacuum slash mop and it did come with an extra vacuum bag. So it came with two of these and then this is the mop pad. As you can see, I have been using it. This is clean. I just pop it into the washing machine and wash it. So easy to clean, um, but it is a little bit stained, which is fine. It still cleans very well. And then this is the part that you would put in whenever you would want to mop. So you just open this piece right here. And then this is where you would put your water. And then uh, you would put it right here. So if you're just going to vacuum, you don't have to use this attachment. You would just keep it as is the way it comes with just the regular attachment. And I am going to show you guys how we put in the mopping attachment. And then in this canister like this bin right here this is where the vacuum bag is so this actually is self what do you call it self emptying so once it's done and it goes back to the charging station all of the dust and dirt that was vacuumed it's going to come out of here and then go into the vacuum bag but you can also take this out I actually just took this out and there was a hair clip in there so it actually vacuumed a hair clip and then you could clean out you could clean out like the filter right there and it's very easy to use very easy to set up honestly like once you turn it on it just tells you what to do it literally takes you through the steps of how to set it up like it's so easy you do need Wi-Fi but I'm pretty sure like you know most of us have Wi-Fi so yeah that's awesome very easy to set up so when you first use it, it actually creates a map of your house. So it will know where to go every single time. And then you would mark off any areas that you don't want mopped. Say for example, you have carpet or you have rugs and you don't want that area to be mopped. You would just go onto the map and just mark off that area. So that's what I did. All right, so it's honestly super easy. This is the like mopping attachment. You just open this right here and fill it with water and then you would put your mop right here it does like velcro on this pad so just center that on like that and then this part right here it's easy it just clicks down you just push it down and it slides out and then you would put this in here like that switch to vacuum and mopping mode did you hear she said vacuum and mopping mode so now you're ready to mop so I want to show you guys right here, there's a button that says enter smart cleaning. So if you go there, you can customize everything, like you can change everything basically, right? So you see where all the red squares are, that's where I don't want it to mop. So this is our living room, we have a rug there, this is the kitchen, we have a big runner, and then the other one, that's the office and where I have my Peloton. So I don't want it to, well and there's a mat, that's why, so I don't want it to mop in those areas. And it was very easy to select this space. So yeah, it was very easy to select this. It actually, you know, it guides you. It asks you to select any spaces that you don't want to be mopped. And then you can also customize, like if you want it to clean once or twice. If you have like, I don't know, like rugs that really need to be vacuumed, um, you know, how strong you need the vacuum to be. And then also for the water flow, how much mopping like do you really need? So I just put it for medium and then the vacuum, I just put it on standard because we don't have like, there's not really like a lot of thick carpet that it's vacuuming or anything like that. It's just the laminate floors and a very thin rug. So that's it. And then you can also schedule if you want it to clean like once a week, twice a week, you know, every Monday, Thursday or whatever, you can schedule that as well. So very nice. Now, if I go to my map, you'll see here 
this is all of downstairs. So if I needed to change anything, let's say we moved the rug or we got rid of the rug and now I want it to um, mop all of this area, you can go ahead and just drag this and move it to wherever you want. And then you could even label the areas. I don't have them labeled just because I, I already know what the areas are, but it does have that option to, you know, customize this area. And I only use it downstairs, so there's only one map. Um, I'm not sure if you, because you can create another map. I guess you can bring it into another area and then create another map and maybe just select that map. So, like I said earlier, there's Callie. <laughs> She's very curious. It does have the auto emptying for the dustbin, but if you need to empty it, you can just push this button and it'll it'll empty it into the into the big bin. So if you don't have it programmed and you're just using it um, manually, then you can just go ahead and push play. And right now it is set to mop and vacuum, so that's what it's going to do. So we're gonna put water in here so that we can, um, we can mop. So we have water in there. So now, excuse me, Callie. So now we are going to remove this cover and then put that one in. Switch to vacuum and mopping mode. Now we're ready to mop and vacuum. So we have the app right here and we're just gonna press play. Start vacuuming and mopping. Please make sure there is sufficient water in the There it goes, you guys. So I just removed the mopping head from the vacuum. I just emptied out whatever water was left. There was only a little bit of water left. So yeah, I just dumped out whatever water was left and now you can see the mop head or the pad. It is dirty from our floors. So now this is super easy to clean. You just throw this into your washing machine and it'll be as good as new. Super easy, you guys. So I'm gonna leave the link if you guys are interested. You can find this on Amazon. I will leave the link and all the details down below. So make sure you guys check them out if you're interested. But um, yeah, I have been enjoying the Yeedy Vac 2. Um, it's just really helpful when you don't have time to like vacuum and mop all throughout the week or maybe you just are like me and hate mopping um, and vacuuming. And it just, it's really helpful. You can just set it and it just goes on its own and the vacuum part of it, it just 
empties into the bin. Putting water in this, it's super easy. Um, it's just super convenient. I don't use this for like deep mopping though. I use this like throughout the week, like maybe once a week. And then I'll still like bring out my like my regular mop to do like deep cleaning. But this is perfect for just like keeping it clean like throughout the week, you know what I mean? So yeah, definitely check them out if you guys have been looking for a robot vacuum slash mop. This one's pretty good, I like it a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna leave their link and everything down below.